So recently, uh, Deadspin uh, did a great job of journalism. They they put together uh, this uh, visi- uh, this video of anchors all over the country at Sinclair owned stations reading this bizarre script about fake news and how oh no we got a, uh, some of the some in the national media man they come up uh, with stories that fit their agenda. Well, look, that is classic projection <laughs> uh, from this ultra right wing station. Uh, now, since that video has come out, a lot of anchors have begun speaking out about having to read that script. Now, these are these are people that work at Sinclair affiliated stations. In fact, one local anchor said, "Quote at my station, everyone was uncomfortable doing it. The person insisted on anonymity because they believed they would be fired for speaking out. So that that's one of the things that we're going to talk about as well." Um, what Sinclair does to people who do not tow the official line, who do not tow uh, what is politically correct. Now, look, uh, when you hear politically correct, all you think about is, oh, the liberals are telling people what to say, the proper gender pronouns, how terrible. It's so PC. Why can't we just, why can't we just say what we want? Well, because most of the time, when you say something that is anti that is not PC, usually it means you're being a dick to somebody who has little power to challenge you. Just saying. Now, but the real definition of PC, not the right-wing version of PC, is saying things that the government concludes that are politically correct. Not fashionably correct, but politically correct that actually helps the government. So in this case... Sinclair is taking the line from the president of the United States, Donald Trump, who calls these stations fake news and says, oh, fake news is so dangerous. It's so dangerous. There's all this uh, fake news coming out against me. Well, these stations are now doing the politically correct things. They're saying fake news, danger to democracy. You can't get more politically correct than what they're actually doing. And this is by the real definition. And by the way, that definition uh, of, of political correctness was used in both uh, the, uh, the Germans uh, in, uh, under Hitler uh, and Stalin. So they both were like, no, don't put out actual facts. You need to put out what is politically correct, what is not actually correct, but politically correct. So... Now that we have that established, uh, what Sinclair has been doing is the definition of political correctness. Anyway, now, uh, these anchors, as I said, they are not happy about this. Uh, One of the other anchors um, uh, anonymously had said, quote, I felt like a POW recording a message. So that's how some of your local anchors feel about doing this propaganda, which it absolutely is. Now, um, there are some people, as I said, that are anonymous that are speaking out, but then there are some people that are not anonymous uh, that are strictly speaking out. Uh, And I love this. One of them is Bob Herzog. Now, Herzog is an anchor at Sinclair Cincinnati station WKRC. Now, he tweeted to his viewers, quote, This morning I am part of a a uh, five-and-a-half-hour newscast that was constructed by hardworking producers who have been in the room right next to me hammering away all night. Our local stories come from the phone calls they've made, um... Assignment editors and uh, or from reporters who got in and put their feet to the street. Our national stories come from CBS News, CNN, and yes, our parent company. We have a lot of resources and do our best to use them to deliver the news fairly. I work with good folks. That's all I've got for you. So, look, he's saying, yeah, look, CNN, th- I get stories from CNN. I get stories from other news out uh, agencies that... We uh, that a lot of our other anchors have been forced to say, uh, thanks to the script, are fake news. Well, no, we use those sources. So we're not doing fake news. They're not doing fake news. We're just trying to do the news. So now you have another one here uh, who directly speaks out more forcefully uh, and takes basically a shot at Sinclair. Quote, uh, a producer at WGN, one of the Tribune stations Sinclair wants to require, 
Uh, tweeted on Monday, there's no way our any of our on-air anchors or reporters will read their scripted messages on your sh- on our show. Chicago's very own, not owned. <laughs> so that's awesome. Uh, again, this is uh, a station that could be acquired by Sinclair. So they're taking a direct shot. Uh, now, there's more here. Um, former employees are also uh, speaking out. One of them is Kirk Clyatt. He's a former anchor at a Sinclair-owned station in Baltimore, Maryland. He told MSNBC on Monday that local affiliates have been required to replace regionally focused stories with these focused uh, with these forced must-run lockstep with the Trump administration commentaries. "Quote: You have these extreme commentaries coming from the station in a very cookie-cutter way that is certainly not good for America." So again, he's speaking out. Uh, then you have Aaron Weiss. Now, Aaron Weiss is a former Sinclair News director who wrote in HuffPost, quote, Over the course of my 14-year career in broadcasting, I worked for multiple corporate owners, large and small. Uh, now, he says, I have good friends that are anchors, reporters, and executives at other Sinclair, uh, station groups across the country. Only Sinclair forces those trusted local journalists to lend their credibility to shoddy reporting and commentary that if, I ran in, that if it ran in other countries, we would rightly dismiss as state propaganda. That is incredibly strong. And by the way, uh, Weiss quit his job when he was acquired, uh, when his station was acquired by Sinclair. So that's an important distinction. So knowing that, uh, a lot of people might be asking, well, why why haven't these anchors quit? If it's rank propaganda, well, then why not just quit Sinclair? Well, that's actually a pretty good answer to that. According to two copies of employment employment contracts reviewed by Bloomberg, some Sinclair employees were subject to a liquidated damage clause before leaving the term of their agreement was up. Now, these clauses require that they pay as much as 40% of their annual compensation to the company. That's uh, if they quit or if they're fired. Not only that, but they're also subject to a six-month non-compete clause and forced arbitration. So, you think it's easy to quit one of these Sinclair stations? Absolutely not. <laughs> 40% of your income. Now, you tell me, like, okay, you want to talk about somebody who's like a big name in, in, in maybe New York City or whatever. Like, for example, people in CNN, they make millions of dollars a year. To sit there and read a script, right? Wolf Blitzer is one of the biggest, uh, you know, best paid script readers I've ever seen. But that local news station uh, anchor in Poughkeepsie, he's not making multi-million dollars. She's not making, uh, you know, bank, right? She she doesn't have this uh, or he have this amazing contract. No, some people start out at like $19,000 a year, not very much. And they have to work their way up and, and then maybe they'll get acquired by a bigger news station. So look, the the reason that a lot of these people don't leave is because they can't. So they get acquired by Sinclair, which is looking to become a a, a part of 72% of households. Right now they have about 38% of households. If they get Tribune Entertainment, they're going to be in 72% of households all across the country. These anchors aren't going to have a choice. They're not going to have the ability to go and find another job. Again, you've got that non-compete clause. And they're not going to be able to afford to quit or afford to get fired by speaking out. So they're caught in a really bad position. Either stay and and, and do what is literal politically correct propaganda or lose their ability to, to, to take care of themselves and their families. I mean, that, that is a terrible position to be caught into. Now, there's more, right? So I, I've got uh, one more person here who was a former reporter for a CBS affiliate, WPEC News 12 in West Palm Beach. This is James Beaton. He said that while he was at the station... He was ordered to do a man-on-the-street interviews that he felt were politically biased. Now, to give you some uh, context, this guy's a Republican, right? He's a conservative. He's a Republican voter. Um, 
and all that stuff, right? Well, he was asked to do loaded questions for Sinclair. For example, how much do you disagree with Obama this year? He said it quote, was, quote, disguised as real journalism. And he says that even though he's a Republican, he's still incredibly pissed. Well, that's understandable because this guy, again, was doing propaganda for the network. He was told to do propaganda and not actual journalism. Look, what, what Sinclair is doing is breaking every single ethics rule in journalism. I'm not even a journalist. I'm a commentator, right? I do commentary, but I still try to hold some sort of standards uh, when it comes to, look, I'm going to give you the facts, and then I'm going to give you my opinion on those facts. But Sinclair doesn't even want to give you the facts. And they're doing, as I said before, state media propaganda uh, to prop up the Trump administration. That is clearly not at all anything close to journalism and not anything close to actual do, actually doing real reporting. So, I mean, what Sinclair is doing is absolutely dangerous. And, and uh, we got to continue to call them out on it. Um, and, and I hope that they do not get uh, that, that Tribune deal. If they do, then I hope that people will turn away from uh, that news, that, that, that station, uh, the Sinclair owned stations, and go online uh, where real news actually still exists. Other than that, I don't know what else to do. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYTNation.